The purpose of this video clip is to clarify the simplicity of integral calculus 2. What is indefinite integral Euler E? Indefinite integrals is the reverse of derivatives. We'll use f of x equals e to the fifth x plus 2. The derivative equals e to the fifth. The indefinite integral of e to the fifth results in an answer that is almost identical to the equation before the derivative. How about f of x equals 8e squared times x to the fourth plus 7? The derivative equals 32e squared times x cubed. The indefinite integral of 32e squared times x cubed results in an answer that is almost identical to the equation before the derivative. What are some indefinite integral Euler e examples? The indefinite integral of e to the x is e to the x plus c. The indefinite integral of 4e squared equals 4e squared x plus c. The indefinite integral of e to the fourth x equals e to the fourth x divided by 4 plus c. The indefinite integral of e to the minus ninth x equals e to the minus ninth x divided by minus 9 plus c. The indefinite integral of e to the 5 minus 8x equals e to the 5 minus 8x divided by minus 8 plus c. How about some integral Euler e areas? f of x equals e to the x. As covered by the differential calculus video clip, derivatives result in slopes. The e to the x slopes m equal the f of x values at x. When x equals 0, f of 0 equals e to the 0, which equals 1. The slope also equals 1. When x equals 0.5, f of 0.5 equals e to the 0.5, which equals approximately 1.64872. The slope also equals f of 0.5. When x equals 1, f of 1 equals e to the 1, which equals approximately 2.71828. The slope also equals f of 1. Areas also equal f of x values from minus infinity to x. When x equals 0, the area integral from minus infinity to 0 equals 1, which is the same as f of 0 and the slope of f of 0. When x equals 0.5, the area integral from minus infinity to 0.5 equals approximately 1.64872, which is the same as f of 0.5 and the slope of f of 0.5. When x equals 1, the area integral from minus infinity to 1 equals approximately 2.71828, which is the same as f of 1 and the slope of f of 1. e to the x is an absolutely unique equation. This concludes the simplicity of integral calculus 2.